Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. This is brand new adventure to me. 1994 Toyota Hiace Super Custom 3.0 liter turbo diesel engine. Never saw it in my life. It's the first time today. Uh, it's super different concept than we are used on our Toyotas. It's Japanese import steering. It's on the right hand side, but everything is different underneath here. And I'm trying to do at least something for the owners. They will need the AC bell, which broke. That will be later. At 56,000 miles, everything underneath it looks awesome. The front brake pads are approximately six to seven millimeters. I checked them on the front. They don't need brake job. Nobody's surprised about it, right? But I grabbed the front wheels. This one has a zero play. You know how you grab them, right? For a wheel bearing play you grab the top and bottom this one is perfect absolutely freely spins at a zero play the other one had noticeable play so I'm dealing with it obviously we don't have owner's manual repair manual there's owner's manual which is written in the Japanese only so I meant the factory repair manual I have no access to it there is a forum for Toyota high ace owners here in USA and everybody saying something else so I will be a guinea pig I will use my experience from the past and I will retorque this wheel bearing there is a nut which is pushing on that washer and there is a wheel bearing it's nicely packed I removed that. There was this cap. It was never touched because I saw there were no these notches when you are trying to remove it. It was perfectly packed with the grease. Nobody ever opened it. But I promised the owners to my ability I will take care of this baby. So I removed the cap. I removed the cotter pin which is holding this locking securing nut right so it has multiple positions here is the opening here is the hole which is plugged by the grease right now and you are you need to torque it and i put it correctly right now this notch will match here if i turn it one click more it will not match right so it's made to match in different positions now it's not possible but i just had it correctly now what's the task here you will say, well, just torque on it and just tight it and it's okay. Well, if you over tie this, you will put too much tension on that bearing. You will overheat it and destroy. So this is a fine dance. Like you are dancing. It's a ballet. You need to get right in the sweet spot. And nobody online has a clear answer for that sweet spot. So let's go and find it together. Few articles were agreeing that that should be torqued to 21 foot pounds. 21 foot pounds of torque, which is a standard in USA, but we are working on Japanese vehicle. The socket will be 30. They are talking millimeters, right? So 21 foot pounds, it's 21, it's 28 and a half, so I will say 29 Newton meters. So I have here this socket. It's a 30 millimeter socket, snap on, deep socket. And I grab my torque wrench, which already beep and announce its presence. We will set it to 29 Newton meters. 
if it will work. So here, I'm not sure if you can see it, 28, 29. So I have the torque wrench here. Aha, uh -huh, this is the joker. And I will go and try this torque. And that was definitely big change. Aha. So that actually might be correct. I will show you the details. By the way, even the Snap-on products fail. This one, this beautiful torque wrench became recently doing this weird stuff. No matter what position I put, there are brand new batteries in it. It's finicky. It keeps switching on and off. I don't want to pay 120 bucks for a service. They have a, like a flat rate, but I will have to because, right? I move it just a little bit. Somehow, it, it it has something to do with that bag because right now it's okay, but it's just very finicky. The contact is bad somewhere. I will probably have to send it to the service. So let's go back to what I was saying. So I did 29. Oh yeah, you hear it beeping, right? So when I removed that, and there was a slight play on that wheel bearing, I wish. I, I was not planning on filming it, so apologize. I apologize. It is what it is. This stop, this edge, which you see right here, was right here. I will guesstimate, I moved that right, and I'm just retorquing. This was perfectly packed. I'm not installing new bearing. You will have to keep locking it, unlocking, locking it, unlocking to seed the bearing correctly. This is not my case. So this edge, the stop of the nut, this one which I just moved, I observed the movement, was approximately here. I will almost say these two corners switched its position and it, it went this way. Let me try to speak in the degree. What do you will say from here to here? That I will say it's 30 degree angle of the 30. I can tell you this is still very easy to move. I don't feel any drag, right? is fine and I think that 29 was correct let's put that locker on it so you can see how it works so here is the whole opening for that quarter pin right which you didn't see before so I have to find these notches here which will match it and they will hold for me that this nut it will stop it from loosening loosening its counter oh this is perfect yeah so let's put this one in we will not put we will not put uh, the cap and I will not bend it yet okay because we are just playing with it I will move you further away but we already know this cannot move. We will put the wheel back and I will try the play on it. Okay? Therefore, non scientific approach to the missing factory repair manual from Japan because this is Japanese product. I cannot find even the VIN number on it. Most of stuff is writ written in Japanese. And I just want to help these owners. They are nice people. I really like them. All of them. It's an entire family. It's the dad who is a wonderful guy, musician, artist. Sweet guy, Robbie. Uh, this is for his children. 
I better not use their names or whatever. But yeah, good people. I like to help good people. You know me. So, for this purpose, we will just use three nuts because I'm filming. I don't want to waste your time either. But on the other hand, you know what? We need videos. Somebody will put it on this forum, on the High Ace forum. I'm a YouTuber. I bet if I can figure out something, I better share it. So I know this is pre torque correctly. This is my limit stick, right? Torque stick, which limits the torque on those lug nuts so I don't rip the stud out, right? You don't use a big gun like that without a torque stick. And now let me spin it. This is completely nice. And now what's most important, let me see if we have eliminated that plate. There was clicking in it, metal, metal, right? I could hear it and I, I felt it in my hands. Oh my god, I'll be damned. I, I'm telling you, right, look, this is easy with a pinky. There's absolutely no problem to turn this hub and the bearing. It's completely nothing. Okay. Yeah, that might be the other indicator. Yet, after all of that, Holy cow, we got it right. There's absolutely no play. I'm pulling on it really hard. So the 29 Newton meters carefully applied until it beeps. It's actually good. I was also trying to share that angle, but that doesn't mean anything because each case, if there was a bigger play, well, then the travel of the nut will be larger or longer. The angle will be different. Well, I, yep, yep, this is good. Uh, this wheel has no play anymore. And I guarantee it will not drag too much and overheat. So it will not destroy itself. I am absolutely confident this was retorqued. And we can take the wheel off. Do we have to? I don't think so. That cap actually will fit there without the removing the wheel. So let's put it back. I don't need to even stop this video. Do I? Do I? I always make those pauses and so on, but what for? So what do you do? You just bend that cotter pin. I thought I will need to tap on it. I might. Sometimes they just don't want to cooperate. And also, I don't have a full space because the camera is here. I'm using super wide angle lens, so the camera is very close to the wheel. And most of the time I don't have a space for myself. But it's okay. I love to create this I call it for myself video forum. All right. So now we know the cotter pin cannot walk out. This securing washer or nut will not turn backwards and loosen that bearing. I will put more grease there. I will still show you. It will not let any moisture in. It will keep lubricating this area. This is what it is for. Uh, because it's such a low mileage, right? This will be not appropriate to do if the grease was gone. If it was getting dry, you will have to replace the bearing or take it completely apart and so-called repack it but you should see it when I open it and once again apologies I didn't intend to share that I had no idea what will be happening with it if 
it was bad you need to repack it since it was excellent like this it was fully packed I had to get rid of the grease to get to the cutter pin and to the lo locking nut because it was excellent super low miles I'm not repacking it I will use the rubber mallet I don't want to damage it as I said there were absolutely zero signs of anybody taking it apart previously right, this is what we do if you have a respect for the people's property just a rubber mallet you see there was in this hub caps there is all the dust which was stuck in it but now the cap will seal it dust seal it waterproof it that's the old design right today we don't see this happening that's why the information is missing so yeah he just told me he's coming to pick her up so today i just did the inspection she has 56,000 miles right you always have to retorque the lug nuts ideally in the crisscross pattern in the star pattern doesn't have to be because that torque stick already put almost perfect torque on it about whatever right you go crisscross so i hope you find this video helpful <laughs> i'm sure somebody will there are not many people who own these things so the views will be probably absolutely ridiculous because how many people own Toyota High Ace in USA, yeah, this is good. And how many people need to retorque the front wheel bearing? Ten, maybe? Whatever, it's something interesting. Thank you for watching and have a great day.